Turkey's Foreign Minister Mawlud Javushoglu says he had a side talk with Syrian Foreign Minister Faisal Mekdad on the sidelines of the non-aligned movement summit in October last year. The Turkish minister added he suggested a reconciliation to take a place between the Syrian government and the opposition, noting that without such a step, Syria will continue to face a crisis. Cavusoglu said that the EU and the international community would support a ceasefire in the war-torn country, and that no country would help in Syria's rebuild the process if a ceasefire is not achieved. To prevent the division of Syria, there must be a strong administration in Syria. The will that can dominate every corner of its lands can only be achieved through unity and solidarity. We need to bring the opposition and government together for reconciliation. There will be no permanent peace otherwise. Some believe such a revelation is a signal indicating Turkey is preparing for its cross-border military operation in northern Syria. In recent weeks, the Turkish army has been sending reinforcements to northern Syria, near the town of Tel Rifat. The town is under the control of Kurdish YPG forces, a U.S.-backed militia that Turkey considers the armed wing of the Kurdistan Workers' Party, known as PKK. I think the timing of this announcement comes as Turkey is preparing for a cross-border military operation to secure the border area and push back Kurdish forces. A reconciliation between the government and the opposition will not only bring peace to Syria, but also Turkey, a country that has been directly affected by the Syrian war from terrorist attacks to the refugee crisis. Some analysts believe Turkey has long been serving its own agenda in Syria. For example, by supporting some opposition groups inside Syria who served Ankara's interest in securing its borders and pushing Kurdish forces back. It might be soon to say whether Ankara has changed its strategy in regards with Syria. What is clear for Turkey is that fighting or defeating the Kurdish militants cannot guarantee its security. Rashan Saglam, Press TV, Istanbul.